If you ever wanted to check out the entire night sky under one roof in one location, the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science has got you covered. Let's go check it out. So Simone, tell us what the Hall of Stars is all about. What can people see in here? So what the Hall of Stars is a, is a way for you to explore the night sky throughout the entire year. Mm -hmm. And it's an interactive exhibit that has a celestial tapestry is what we call it. Mm -hmm. And it's a 20 foot by nine foot cloth tapestry that has 1,200 LEDs on it that represent really? yeah, the brightest stars in the northern hemisphere. Wow, so it represents the brightest stars in the northern hemisphere yes. year round. So this kind of works as like a, a world map of our of our sky. Exactly, right? yeah. Okay. The same way you would make a world map out of a globe by unwrapping it, that's what we did with the stars that are all around the Earth. Okay, gotcha. Now, now speaking of, that's how it was made. Tell us a little bit about uh, it, it w when it opened and how you guys came about creating it. So it opened in February of this year, mm -hmm. and it was a three-year project that was almost entirely done by volunteer effort okay. alone. Yeah. So um, I started working on the touchscreen interface before I was hired, so I was a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And it was also headed up by a man named Roger Kennedy, who's also a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And the idea actually came from a Christmas tree. And what oh, they no wanted, kidding. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what they wanted to do is teach about the night sky and how it's organized. Okay, fantastic. So mm -hmm. how does it work? You said there are 1,200 LEDs? Yep. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um, so there's 400 that are controlled by the main touchscreen program. Okay. And each one of those LEDs is poked through the fabric and then wired onto a custom shield, electronic shield, that's attached to something called an Arduino. An Arduino? Yeah. Okay, that sounds very cool. <laughs> they are cool. They're these little, like, $40 microcontrollers that are open source. Uh, okay. So everybody can get them and you can do all kinds of really wonderful things with them. Wow. And so the main computer talks to all those Arduinos and tells them what to do. Mm. So you're able to select constellations and stars and wow. brighten them and also learn about deep sky objects too. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, hearing all this, it sounds so special, but there's a really, this, I mean, this is a very special thing. This is the only, the only tapestry in the world, is that right? It's the only hall like this The only in the hall world. like this in the world? Okay. Yeah. Um, there might be other tapestries out there, but... Um, None this is cool. Was, yeah, probably not, <laughs> especially because one of the volunteers is actually a retired physicist from Los Alamos, and he built those shields that are attached to the Arduinos. Uh -huh. So, it was all done custom by uh -huh. us and for us. Wow, so made in New Mexico, it yeah. celebrates all the cool things in New Mexico, and mm -hmm. you can get out and see the night sky regardless of what time of year it is. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. And so that's a pretty incredible exhibit, and it's even more incredible that it was assembled by volunteers, all New Mexicans, born and bred right here in the land of enchantment. So come on down to the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science and check out the Hall of Stars. Ooh.